Where we are right now is Cobbs Hill Park in Rochester, New York. It's known for being a great recreational place. There's basketball hoops, a wide variety of family-friendly activities, and hiking trails. But in September of 1943, this park was actually a prisoner of war camp that housed Italian prisoners of war. During the war, during the Second World War, it was primarily used for Italian prisoners of war. But later on, it became the site of uh, where they would also store German prisoners of war, particularly after D-Day. Nowadays, it's actually low-income senior housing, and you would have no idea that a prisoner of war camp once operated here. It's kind of an off-the-beaten-path, kind of forgotten piece of history that most people who are playing basketball or taking a hike would have no idea. During the war, the prisoners of war that were held at this camp did a wide variety of tasks. Being that it's Rochester, New York, one of them was plowing snow, clearing the areas during blizzards, but also working on farms and miscellaneous labor tasks. Interestingly, it was actually quite common that local residents, especially people who are of Italian or German descent, would actually bring gifts to the prisoners of war here. Where are we going now, Zach? Well, we are going to the place that was used as a guard barracks during the time that the place that we just went to was used as a prisoner of war camp. This is the Culver Road Armory, which nowadays is kind of a, a bohemian style fancy uh, shopping mall with stores and etc because it's a mall. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, originally it was actually used by the army as a, essentially a place for them to put military police. Yeah, that's the, this is the original armory. Obviously they fixed it up and gentrified it and made it pretty. Um, but over there in those trees across the road, that was where the prisoner of war camp was. And so this allowed them to kind of have a permanent eye on everything that was going over there. That body of water is called Lake Riley. And yeah, they would actually have this plus a combination of guard towers. This was kind of like their main office, basically. Barracks and etc. So. Yeah, and it definitely still has that architecture to it. Yeah. That would never, that wouldn't change at all. But now it has peppermint fresh there. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that it was obviously uh, uh, repurposed at some point in this lifetime. Um, but yes, it started out as the Culver Road Armory. Obviously, some parts of it are new, but... Yeah. Actually... Yeah. Over Road Armory right there. Now it's very, uh, posh. Yeah, they, they, they repurposed it, which, you know... The thing is, is that even though they repurposed it, it's better than it being abandoned and torn down. I mean, I would, I would have to imagine that the majority of people who go here during the day wouldn't exactly know... It's history, but just the fact that it still exists in some capacity is really is really cool. Um, it's nice that they can preserve it in some way. It's like that might have been kind of what the, it would have looked like back in the day.